Hey guys, I'm Agent here. Sorry I'm a little sick, so my voice is going to sound a little different. I may not be as ganky as normally as I am in my other videos. I wanted to start a new kind of series on this channel called J News. Um, basically, I'll take popular news stories from major Japanese news outlets and talk about them. Hopefully, I won't just give my opinion, but I'll be able to help you guys, update you guys on exactly what's going on in Japan and um, what's going on with Japan as it relates to the world. Today's topic is going to be about the infamous North Korea. I read an article from Japan Today titled LDP gives government plan to protect public from North Korean missiles and I thought ooh baby <laughs> what has Japan created this time? Do they have an iron dome defense system like Israel? Uh, will they have lasers that intercept missiles mid-air? You know before they reach land? Like what has Japan come up with this time? And it turns out Nothing like that at all. Rather, the bill um, details plans for evacuation and how the government will notify the public. The article states, and I quote, The LDP plan calls on the government to work more closely with airlines and shipping companies to plan for a potential evacuation of Japanese nationals living in or visiting South Korea. It also calls for new shelters to be built in Japan and to carry out evacuation drills making use of underground facilities in densely populated areas. Okay, so this isn't what I initially pictured, but at least it's something. And considering that Japan doesn't have much wiggle room when it comes to military and military procedures, it seems like a totally rational course of action, totally rational kind of plan. It's also worth noting that this bill seems to focus on Japanese nationals living in South Korea. The other half of the bill is focused on warning systems to the public. According to the article, alerts would be handled through the Japanese government's J-Alert public warning system, which is a satellite-based broadcasting system, and would previously, and I quote, only say that a uh, missile launch has been detected and that it now warns people in at-risk areas to take shelter in robust buildings or underground. I'm not too sure what to think about that, like, what exactly is robust? <laughs> and a nuclear detonation is pretty darn powerful, like, would, would Japanese robust buildings be able to stand up to that? Not sure, what do you guys think? You know, I've been interested, very interested in North Korea for a while now, and I've actually been considering going there on one of those tours, one of those <laughs> private tours that they have after learning it was possible. There's actually a really interesting documentary um, about really the fakeness of the government of North Korea uh, called Under the Sun. You can watch it in various places online. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that everyone watch this documentary. It was originally supposed to be a movie about the great life of North Koreans in North Korea and um, the director of the film was foreign and he didn't really like you know all the limits and restrictions that were put on him so he basically was like you know screw the government keep that camera rolling when we're you know after I've said cut and before I've said action. So that's what that documentary basically is. There's also a very interesting set a uh, series of YouTube videos um, about a travel vlogger who goes to North Korea for I think it's like a week or so, a few days, and he basically takes that tour, that kind of private tour by the Korean government, and um, he films it. The film that he brings back is film that was screened by the North Korean government that they said, okay, this is alright, you can show this to everyone else. That's very interesting too, but because it's screened, we only get to see the good parts, which is why I highly recommend you watch that you watch those videos before or after watching Under the Sun, because you can really see the fakeness of everything once you realize how controlled it is.
Well, that's today's episode, the first J News episode I guess I'm doing. If y'all have comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for, your, for future episodes, please leave them below in the comments section. Otherwise, peace guys.